Welcome to the Salt Strong Podcast, disrupting fishing entertainment as you know it. Prepare to laugh. Prepare to get to know fishing legends in a whole new and unfiltered way. And on occasion, you might even learn a thing or two about fishing. Here's your host, Joe Simons, like diamonds. Hello, Salt Strong Nation. Joe Simons, like diamonds, back again with the podcast and this is going to be a fun one talking all about the brand new up and coming salt strong tackle store here in central florida i have had a ton of questions from our insider members and from just the public in general and friends here in town here in uh in, in central florida who are all asking hey when is this thing gonna open when's the when's the grand opening when can i come see it and uh so i just want to do a podcast and talk about everything that's gone on the good the bad the ugly uh, nothing goes as planned as you probably know, especially when you start talking about properties and building construction, et cetera. And so here is the grand picture. Luke and I purchased this property, which is just shy of two acres. It's on a popular lake, Lake Ship, here in Winter Haven, Florida. And if you know anything about Winter Haven, Florida, that's the chain of lakes. So it's a, you know, approximately 20, 21 lakes all combined together. Cool part is Lake Ship is like kind of dead in the middle. It's really one of the big connector lakes, um, and obviously it has one of the biggest boat ramps as uh, as well, which is uh, which is nice. It gets a ton of traffic. If you've ever eaten at Harborside, we're right near there. I mean, we're we're literally just a few properties over from Harborside, which is a, a really neat place to eat there on the water, and you can pull your boat right up and or you could beach it. It's a, it's a pretty neat little setup. And so we're right there next to, next to that. It's almost two acres. Uh, so pumped. The deal was the gentleman that we bought it from actually did boat repair. He was like the main fiberglass guy in, uh, in town for, uh, for boat repair. Even Bass Pro uh, sent all their, their boats. The Bass Pro Orlando sent all their boat repairs to him. And so this guy was just crazy busy. And so we bought it. He still had like 50 boats in this, you know, on this property, in this boat yard, if you will. That's what it looked like. And, you know, part of the deal was that he got to lease it back from us until he was finished. And we had a first deadline of October 15th. And, and then there was like an extension to December 31st, which is like the final, 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 final day. <laughs> and I say that because we never thought in a million, neither, neither party thought we'd ever get there in a million years. Of course, if you recall what happened there right in the, the beginning of October when he was getting somewhat closer to, to being done, but still wasn't there, a hurricane came and then, you know, pushed everything back. And this property, it is a big property. It's a, you know, somewhat of an older building, even though there's a parts of it there's basically three pieces to this uh, property and the one main uh we're gonna have our tackle store the one main area which has been there for quite some time it used to be a, a little marina i mean it's it's been a convenience store it's been a gas station I've done all kinds of stuff over the years and uh that has a flat membrane roof and if you know what i'm talking about it's just imagine like a flat roof uh that connects to like a brick brick or, or a block building and the wind was coming off the lake with nothing to stop it when the you know, Hurricane Ian came through and it was coming directly at our shop. And it had so much force for so long, it actually broke the brackets that hold this flat membrane roof. So just even imagine like Legos putting a flat roof on some bricks. It actually ripped the whole thing up. So it lift, it didn't, the roof didn't fly off because it was heavy enough, but it pushed the entire roof up after breaking the brackets that hold it down about six inches. So that entire evening is the wind is just getting blown directly at us. It is just filling up this entire room with water. And you can only imagine, I mean, we're talking six to eight inches of water filled up this whole place. And so obviously that just destroys all the, all the molding, you know, on the, on the ground, it destroyed all the drywall uh, it, I mean, it, everything, all his, I felt horrible for him because, you know, we hadn't moved in yet. It was all his stuff. So all his paperwork and everything, you know, that, that he had been kind of storing in there because that was where they did business, you know, for checking people out and, and paying bills and had a cash register. I mean, all that stuff for the most part, just destroyed. Um, so that just said everything back and long story short, he finally got out at the very, very end of December, like, you know, right at new year's basically made it to the very last day and so we were finally able to take possession of it january 1st 
And, you know, we have, we've had our contractors line up, which is the good thing. But as you know, if you live here in Florida or anywhere that's been hit by a hurricane, you know, these contractors, they've got friends, they've got family, and, and they have, you know, uh, other things they're working on, obviously. And a, a lot of people had crazy damage from this hurricane. So these contractors, they're busier than ever before. The, you know, there's still some shortages on supplies, you know, like even for glass for a while was taking forever to get in. And so we're having to deal with all this stuff. So we have flooring lineup. So we have to refloor the whole thing, obviously. We have to redry ball the whole thing. You get the whole thing, you know, painted. We have new glass coming in because the glass is super old and has cracks. Uh, just all these things, uh, you know, update the bathrooms, right? One of the, the we didn't have um, the wheelchair compliant, you know, bathrooms and, and obviously, uh, you have to have that. And, and I've, you know, we have a brother with, with disabilities in a wheelchair. And so we want to make sure we accommodate everybody. Um, so all these little small things. But if you know anything about construction, you, you can't just do them on a whim. You have to do them in steps, right? You're, you're not going to sit there and put flooring in and then start doing, you know, build out on on top of it and then painting. You know, the, you, know you, you do that in usually different stages. And so we're just having to wait on all this stuff. It has been absolutely brutal. The good news is if you've driven by it, if you are here locally in Winter Haven, Florida, you've probably seen it. It looks a billion times better. So we did get the outside uh, painted. I mean, heck, we had to spend $3,000 just to get rid of all the cobwebs in this warehouse. So then I'll explain what this looks like if, if you haven't seen it. So if you pull up, like I said, real big piece of property, almost two acres on the water. So beautiful view. And you have three buildings, if you will, on the far left hand side is a really high, uh, in terms of high ceiling and pretty big, just warehouse. And that's where we're going to have our fulfillment. That's where we're going to have our storage. We have a forklift. Uh, that's where we're going to have, you know, our deliveries that we have, you know, not every day, but at least a few times a week, we have a truck pulling up with something. And, uh, and, and that's where we'll be doing basically our shipping and fulfillment, you know, and we're sitting out anywhere from 400 to 1,000 packages a day, you know, to our members. Uh, so fishstrong.com is our tackle store, for those of you who don't know. And, uh, you know, our insider members save 20% off everything in the store with the exception of reels, which uh, we're doing free line and free spooling and, and free shipping. But uh, all that being said, that's where going to be all the fulfillment is. And then the middle section is the tackle store. That was the, the area with the flat membrane roof that was blown off. And, and there will be my office. We'll have a big conference room. Uh, we're going to do things a little bit, you know, different. Uh, it, it will it will be a little bit more interactive. I would just say that uh, we're even going to have some like uh, like a, a a rigging and tying knot table. And uh, so people, what you know, while you're waiting, or if you know uh, you're uh, uh, just wanted to test something out or try different lines, we'll have different lines out there to try to test out. It's 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 how we we wish tackle stores were like. You know, so many times like I, I want to feel this line. I want to actually tie a knot with this braided line or with this new mono or whatever it is or fluoro. And so we're going to have like knot tying areas and you could test stuff out. We might even have a, uh, a, a knot strength uh, tester there. Uh, kind of just want to make it fun and interactive and uh, also have, you know, some little TVs and, and little iPads there where you can watch, uh, you know, rigging tips and stuff. So if you're looking at, hey, should I pick out, you know, this power prawn or, you know, this slam shady mulligan or whatever it is. And if so, you know, what should I rig it with? And so we want to have all that stuff there. Um, once again, it, it's how we wish tackle stores were when we go in, into them, especially if you're newer and, and or maybe even newer just to saltwater fishing or intro saltwater fishing and, and you see these endless amounts of, of options at a place like, you know, a Bass Pro or Academy or Dick's, most of the stuff you don't need. And so we just want to keep it simple and then show you exactly what you need. So when you walk out of the store, you have confidence, you know exactly if you got the right stuff. I mean, I can't tell you just going back in my life when we were first getting into it, how little confidence I had when I left the store. I was excited because, you know, we all like to buy new tackle, but I didn't have the confidence. I was like, man, I hope this works. And half the time it didn't. Sometimes it did. I was like, and that's how you, you know, figure out what does work. Uh, but I mean, how cool would it be to walk out and know that, man, I got exactly what I need. I know how to rig it. I know exactly what hooks or jig heads I need. And so that's our goal with this. And, you know, kind of one of the taglines of the store is going to be everything you need and nothing else, right? I mean, what Bass Pros and all that do, and, and nothing against them, they obviously have their, um, you know, their meaning in, in terms of um, 
how they do business and, and certainly help out a lot of people. But there's just so much stuff you don't need in there. A lot of it is, you know, what, what I would consider, you know, just irrelevant waste of money stuff. And so we want to be the opposite of that. We know we're not going to compete with Bass Pro. We're not going to have 500,000 SKUs in this one building. And so we want to do things differently and give you exactly what you need and nothing less. So really, really excited about that. And then on the far side of this uh, tackle store is going to be just more storage. And then on the back side, we're going to have a bunch of little pop-up tents that, tents that we're, uh, we'll be doing for events. You know, we're starting these Salt Strong chapters here pretty soon. We just actually hired someone this week um, who accepted the job offer and we'll be starting in, uh, in March. So stay tuned for that. And we'll certainly have some chapter stuff here in Winter Haven for kind of like a Polk County chapter and, uh, and most likely, you know, use um, our, our venue for the, uh, for the event. And on the back, it is on the lake. It does have a dock. We've, the more we've looked at it, the dock is still functional. It is old. Uh, it's not like, you know, rinky dink old where you, you think it's going to fall apart. Now, if you put a hundred people in there, it, it might get a little bit iffy. I don't know. We're not going to test that out, but we are going to be replacing the dock, but same deal with all these docks that got damaged in Winter Haven. We've already been on the list ever since we bought it. We knew we we're going to do this and we're still, who knows how many months out before, you know, we even get, get the, the, the dock, um, the dock redone, but that will be huge because we're going to be able to double the size of the dock and even put some little uh, covering on it for shade and have a little area for kids fishing, et cetera, and obviously feed the fish there. And I'm just, I'm really, really, really stoked about that. So let me kind of answer the question. I think a lot of you are wondering, all right, when is it going to be ready? Um, we're hoping for like April, maybe even May, worst case. I'm always going to go with worst case because I know nothing in construction happens as it should. But um, we have to get all this stuff done first. And obviously we have to pull permits and, and we've already obviously started that process nothing is happening fast even with these contractors who uh who, who we know well and uh and, and and get stuff done it's just taken forever and um so i i believe they'll be done in march officially that that'll all kind of be done and let's just say late march that'll give us you know a week or two to just kind of move in and get everything settled because we can't move in until all the floors and all that stuff is done and, uh, and and that'll give us a little time to uh, to move in. So let's just say it's April of us just kind of moving in and getting settled and getting our founders our founders board plaque up there. We're not, we, uh, I don't know if you guys know, but we had some founders who uh, who were really special to us, and we're going to have their name up there uh, on the on the wall. And so we're excited about that. And then hopefully May that'll give us time to just have it ready and feel like we're not rushed and have checkouts ready and all that great stuff and have some more apparel. We're going to have a lot of new uh, shirts and. And, uh, and hoodies and hats, and uh, and then probably have like a May um, a grand opening is kind of what we're hoping for. And that's, you know, usually nicer weather as well. It's not, you know, crazy summer hot, but it's still warm and the fish are biting. We catch some fish off the back. So really, really pumped. I'll tell you more is that uh, we know it, but I want to give you a quick update here on the podcast since so many of you asked. And uh, if you want to, you know, get 20% off everything in the store and be part of these chapters and and uh, and really be invited to this, uh, this first party, the first party, Obviously, we are going to you know try to just keep it to uh, to members and uh, friends the best that we can. Um, so if you want to be part of it, join us at saltstrong.com, the Insider Club. We uh, you know officially over thirty five thousand members. I saw we hit that uh, late last year, and uh, man, we just continue to keep growing. I, uh, I yeah, I'm just I'm I'm just we're, we're tickled, like just in a blessed way of how fast this thing is growing and how many just amazing people we have in the community, how helpful everyone is. It is just so cool. So thank you guys from the bottom of our hearts. We're just so blessed to have you and can't wait to see where this goes this year with now a, a lot more of face-to-face -face engagement and meetups from the tackle store to these chapters. Uh, just really, really excited to see where all this is going and can't thank you enough for making it happen. And uh, so if you're not a member, come join us today, saltstrong.com. We'll see you on the other side. Cause fish in a tail